Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for January 5th, 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 12. And if you add the 1 and the 2 together, you get the number 3. The number 3 indicates that a positive mind is very helpful in learning how to sustain ourselves through difficult moments. A positive attitude is an evolutionary leap out of the negative mind and that mind's external expressions and into a space to find how to attract more divine particles into our energy field. That allows for the magical synchronicity to happen just when we might need it the most. Know that when we learn to discipline our negative impulsive habits and become more centered in seeing into what the positive implications are for some negative events, we shift out of our primal reptilian brain and into our higher functioning mind. And we are easier for others to be around also. Making others enjoy our company comes from us being a positive energy to them and us sharing from an open and authentic heart. Today, take some time to show the depth of your heart and allow your joy to positively infect other souls in wonderful and magical ways. The astrology today. Today tries to open up our minds and open up our hearts. Perfect for our imagination to run wild. Venus and Neptune sextile encouraging us to be our best self and to do things that support putting smiles on the faces of others. Be kind, be gentle, be caring, and know that many are feeling overly sensitive right now. Without concern and compassion, this would be a very harsh world. It is the priceless aspect of love that saves us in this dimension again and again. While we cannot save another from their karmic lessons, we can care about them and their process. Today helps us open and learn that possessiveness is a form of attachment that leads us into a spiral of karma that only leads to more suffering. The moon will shift out of the open-minded sign of Aquarius this evening and it will go into the emotionally sensitive sign of Pisces. Continue to allow your emotional self to grow through embracing the many complex feelings that surface when we are quiet and we are under external stresses. There are We are learning so much right now about our deepest self, and those often are the things that we have been avoiding dealing with for a long time. And my quote for today, the wind came in and tried to blow it all away, all the anxiety and all the dismay. It blew for hours in a series of gusts we learn to grow through those we entrust, the deepest parts of who we were, those wounds that through our life we did incur. Let the wind hear all the pain. Let the wind remove emotions that constrain. Let the rain wash the pain away. Open your heart to clear the way to that place that is more honest and true to the hope that can carry you through. And my blog for today. Sometimes there are just no ways to describe the patterns within a life that manage to unfold. I watch as a witness to the human condition, the striving that mankind reaches for repeatedly as each person searches for a level of understanding to make sense out of the senseless acts of a few very damaged and dangerous souls. I find so many with very kind hearts that become caught in a web of karmic constraints and habits that continuously tear them down and then, which they will then carry into other lifetimes. I know that each of us must learn through a repetition of our miscalculated choices. I know that there are no mistakes as we try to understand why certain things seem to follow us around. Karma is a loyal dog that will not shift until we have learned all the lessons within a particular pattern. It seems that regardless of power, influence, wealth, fame, religious affiliation, or beliefs, each person is working through layers of dysfunctional patterns that have from times past become habituated. And those habits do not allow us to heal as they seem to continuously infect the soul and discourage effective changes that could shift the trajectory of the karma. I understand why in the process of healing addiction, facilitators require that person to totally remove themselves from those negative influences and environments because those environments breed the energy and dysfunction that ensnares souls for years, decades, and sometimes lifetimes. The doorways to clarity are always beyond our norm. The paths to enlightenment require us to leave everything behind. The places where we have felt the deepest despair cannot give us what we were never offered. We are here to learn beyond the comforts of the familiar. Resisting the effort that certain moments require only leads us even more towards those familiar traps. And uh, my thing just kind of glitched here, so we're going to have to just pull it back. There we go. <laughs> 
Um, the conclusions are not set in stone. Those things that make us want to lounge in what we used, what used to work in the past are a cage. The only answer is to finally refuse to go down that path and into that familiar cage. Yes, it will be hard. Yes, it will be uncomfortable. Yes, you will make mistakes. Yes, you will have to keep making changes. No, the universe does not give a pass to those unwilling to try. No, things will not always go your way. No, outcomes are not assured. No, you will not get the answers to questions you have not yet or that have not yet arisen in your consciousness. No, you do not get to have clarity and certainty before you choose to leap. Just because you are a good and kind person does not mean life will give you one miracle after another. Great people have had tremendously hard moments in lives. The difference is they did not quit. Never give up. Embrace that which is a stretch out of your comfort zones. Know that everyone is required to make many leaps of faith in a life. And it is not about having faith in some supernatural entity. It is about having faith in yourself to figure out what will be necessary in a new reality. Thanks, everyone.